Hey everyone, welcome back to another playthrough of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux. <clears throat> so yeah, our last playthrough was of uh, Thunder, and now we're going to do a new one. So yeah, the decks are determined by like your name. So uh, we've only done four playthroughs, so like there's still plenty of choices we have. So I'm just going to just put some random numbers in and see what random three decks we get and like we still shouldn't get too many repeats so it should be fine so yeah let's come on Give me the cards. Give me the decks. Yeah, it always takes a bit before uh, before you get the option to choose which deck you are. And like, since we've I've already seen the intro like four times, and I imagine most people watching have already seen the intro like so many times. Uh, I just decided to skip half of it. So I've already done Monster Eye. So really, the option is between Giant. Uh, Mech Soldier, which seems to be the machine deck, and Buku, which, from what I heard, was supposed to be, like, the very hard one. I think I'll leave Buku for later, and we're going to, I guess, do a machine deck this time around, which will be interesting. I haven't done machines yet, and that probably means that I'll start uh, on the... I, I forget the, what they were called. There's Lancaster and another one. But at least we'll start by f like fighting against the uh, antagonists. Because I imagine most of the good cards we would need are on the side of Bandit Keith. Like I imagine he has most of the good cards for our deck. So I want to face him as soon as possible. Also to be fair, like I think Rex... Facing Rex off first gives us like a field power advantage, which I think will be useful to take down at least one guy. Despite the fact that I think we need to beat Weevil for um, unlocking Bandit Keith, but I don't know how good this starter deck is. That that is another thing. Like, for instance, the Fairy starter deck was able to just beat like you could beat the whole game with just the starter deck for Fairy, for instance, but. I don't know how this one will uh, match up, but yeah, goddamn it! I'm always like astounded with how long this intro takes. Okay. So yeah, we can choose either the Lancaster side or the Yorkists. I believe we want to side with the Lancaster or Lancastrians, if I'm correct. Like, it would suck to just get that wrong and you just start on the wrong side. But I think we got the right side because this is uh, sides with uh, Yugi and the lads. Yep, where we get this jazzy little song. Yugi sitting at a table with Joey and uh, Jasper Dice Tutor, and I think that's supposed to be Shadi. And then there's just uh, Simon McMoran, which is like one of those game exclusive guys. Like, there are a couple of characters that appear like in the games only, but then like. At some point, they just cut them all out of, of like the Yu-Gi-Oh games, but like most of the Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh games nowadays don't really have a story attached to it. It's usually just battle simulator or card simulator, game simulator. Which is it, it's fine in one sense, but you kind of would like to have a story attached to it. Like sometimes they make you just do like the anime story, but you know, it is what it is. So let's get a quick little look-see at the deck. Giant Mech Soldier is our... Um, What's-his-face at the moment. 
Who's our deck master, deck leader? We got Fairy Dragon again. Great. We got Invader of the Throne, Great Bill, Armored Red, Urabi, Tomazorus, Gatekeeper, Yaiba Robo, which inflicts 300 life point damage. That's cool, I guess. Blocker, doesn't take any damage. Transforms occupied space into a wasteland when engaged in battle. That's not horrible, but these got pretty shit stats. While this card is face up in defense position, the strength of all your machine mods is increased by 300. Hey, that is not bad at all. That's not a bad card at all. Ground attack, a Burgraf, Holograph, Steel Scorpion, Giant Mech Soldier. Three times, wow. Mechanical Spider, Gig Attack Wolf, Shovel Crusher, Gold Goyle, revives in his own summoning area, Dice Armadillo, Steel Ogre Grotto, Royal Guard, Sheen Attacker. We've got a lot of high cost guys here. Bat. I just got flipped face up. If there's a Jig and Bakudan in, in the Jason's teleport a Jig and Bakudan to the summoning area, that's really specific. Metalfish, McBass, Sparks, three times, okay. Limiter removal, that's just a, it's a 600 buff for all monsters. For all machine monsters, that's good. Two dark energies and an invigoration and a bear trap. Um, I must say, this is definitely a better deck than most. Uh, I will probably have to look up a lot of the uh, steel or steel, a lot of the machine fusion between these two, um, between th this episode and the next episode. But damn, that to me at least seems like a pretty good opening, um, opening deck. We're gonna fight Rex Raptor first because I think we have a better shot at beating him than Weevil. Like, that being said, I don't actually know what, like, Machine's Ace Monster would be. I'm imagining the, the, the uh, Ace Monster is like... I don't know, Barrel Dragon? But bam, we don't 50 damage there. That being said, it does, this deck does have a lot of throwaway cards. The machines have just a lot of pretty strong monsters right out the gate, which is pretty nice. Let's use another Spark. Yeah, boom, we already did 100 life point damage, great. Sparks is actually quite nice for uh, when you're grinding out your uh, deck, li deck leader. But I will say with... Uh, your earth, so like a dark energy isn't going to help you. But still, that's um, a high, high defense you have. Gonna hope he just attacks into me. It doesn't look like he wants to. Okay, that's unfortunate. We don't get any buffs or whatever, so to me at least it doesn't seem like there is a whole lot of reason to uh, be very aggressive with my deck leader because he doesn't get the boosts. It's Grappler, okay. Also, we'll get a whole host of new attack animations, which is interesting to see. Although this is just a tor this is just an upper body. I I would have at least body had it, you know, some legs. It's also a very quick animation. He comes in, punches him, and is done. Ah, that's cool. At least he's got a cool finishing pose. Uh, if you're fourteen hundred, it's just not that appealing. Tomazor, Tomazorus. I don't know. I don't. Ooh, God. Hey, they do have a fusion together to make Cyber Alligator or Cyber Cybersaurus. Yeah, it, it's a, it's something.
let's look what we have. What do we draw? We draw a great bill. Do these guys do anything? Yes, they do. Beast and machine makes dice armadillo. Okay. That's something. It's dice armadillo. <laughs> Alright, we could really use a limiter removal now. Which is a very good card when I think about it. But he's got something for- oh wow, that that that's strong. I don't think we can even get anything over that. Like... I don't think we have anything that gets over the 4200. What kind of fucking shit did you feed this monster? Okay, so it should... What, does it get like... Yeah, I think he does. He gets like 500 from that, 500 from that. And he used like one... One of these... I think raised body heat probably, yeah. So he should have 2700 when he goes and attacks somebody else here. Which, um... Yeah. What do you want me to do now? You don't have anyone strong enough for uh, the moment. I feel like... I guess we should just kind of wait until we get... Limited removal? I guess we just put these guys away to hopefully just draw into limiter removal. I may as well put you in defense mode because you've got more of that. Yeah, the moment you get a serpentine princess up, oh, that's bad. That gives everyone an attack buff. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He he got some he, he he drew some good cards. As this is probably Serpentine Princess, which buffs her up even more. So here, take some Invigoration. Yeah, now this thing has 3,400 without even standing in to... Okay, this is a bad start. This is unfortunate. He just got good cards. He just drew uh, very well. And uh, we don't... We don't really have an optimized deck yet. Like, the only thing I can say is that it's relatively easy for us to get to, like, the 2,000 attack points. It's just that he has... A pretty easy time getting to the 3,000 attack points, which is, yeah, not good for us. Although, once I've figured out, like, the optimal fusions and we maybe have a couple of limiter removals, these battles will probably not be too difficult. Hey, let's go. I got him back. Uh, never mind, it's another Emperor of the Land. Who does actually kill my dice armadillos, which is, um... Not ideal. God, this guy really just fucking fucked and fucking destroyed us, didn't he? This one singular monster. I think, I think he has three other Serpentine Princesses in his deck. Which hasn't haven't been revealed, so he can still buff himself up by like 2700 if he wants to. He probably has too much to back blessing too, so yikes. Yikes. Come on game, give me some limited removal. It's not what I wanted, but I 
just makes Metal Dragon, I think. Yeah. Well, the one saving grace is that we actually do defeat this guy. Yeah, I guess I'm just kind of hoping that we uh, get limited removal. Ooh, that's not good. Now he does have enough. Because those monsters are apparently Aqua, which... Wow, really benefit him, huh? That, 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 not good. He got that at the perfect time, too. That's the worst part. Yeah, at this point, I don't think I have anything to, uh... Take that down. He dead. Giant Maxwell to rip. God damn it. Got Gear Golem. So yeah, now we get Gear Golem. Dark energy really isn't useful for us at all. Like, it really isn't useful at all at all. That thing's got 4,000. Oh, now... And now they have 4,600, I think. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of just drew all his cards perfectly, like... These cards have just buffed him up by, um, 1,800. Steel Scorpion. <laughs> Steel Scorpion, he's gonna save us all. It's not even like... He doesn't even get the thing. This is just extremely sad, wow. This is so sad. <laughs> Steel Scorpion, no! It's, it's weird, like, it's always like, the first victory is so hard to get, but once you get that first victory, like, suddenly everything becomes way easier. Ah, oh, yeah, this will stop him. By myriad of... Earth monsters. Like, somewhere I'm just hoping that we get some kind of dark monster, but at this point I don't have... The hope anymore. Ah, and he's got Gorgon Eye too. Well, that's it. I think that that's literally it. He also drew Gorgon Eye there to make it last a turn less. Not before he goes on a killing spree for my Cybersaurus. Yeah, I, I, we've seen this animation seven times at this point. Oh, no, Pete's got some form of mercy, and he likes to just stall it out for a little second longer, for whatever reason. You could have won, man. Just take the victory at that point. I can't even put stuff in defense anymore. 
Ooh, cool, we got blocker. I'm going to survive one turn longer. We don't need armored rat. This guy's got a lot of shit, so. Oh, never mind. That fucks us up. Dice armadillo! Yeah! We got dice armadillo. He didn't even have to use the serpentine princesses. He just got. He pretty much just got the cards at the right time, at the right moment. Well. That was a pretty pathetic display. So. With that being done. Guys. I'll end the first episode off here. But. In the next episode. I mean I don't think the deck will change drastically. But I'll at least. Have a, a level the level 5, I said, at least have the deck master leveled up so we get that going for us. And then I'll also then hopefully know the deck a bit better. So, yeah. Next time will be better. I promise you that. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.